In the ongoing fight against COVID-19, nations around the world are increasingly turning to technology to track the disease. This isn't just about testing to find out who's had it. It's about finding out where someone who's tested positive has been, whom he or she might have interacted with, and then telling those people that they might have been exposed to the disease. So let's say you go to a party and someone there later tests positive for coronavirus. You could get a call or text in the days afterward saying you might have been exposed and that you should stay home and socially distance yourself for 14 days. The intent is that this could prevent you from spreading COVID-19 before you even know you have it. This form of tracking is called contact tracing. It requires a lot of workers to do it, and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control says it's a key strategy for preventing the spread of coronavirus. But those concerned about privacy say contact tracing could cause a lot of problems. For one thing, your smartphone can be used without you being told about it to learn a lot about the places you go, the time you spend there, and the people you see based on their smartphone info. Critics say anyone with access to this data could use it illegally to track information people expect to be kept private. They're not only concerned about the mass surveillance of Americans, they're also uneasy about the possibility of this data still being collected even after the threat of the coronavirus has passed. So contact tracing, while useful, is controversial. This is one of the worst hit countries, and, and India saw another record daily increase in cases, bringing that total now to more than 101,000 cases. And you compare that to neighbor Pakistan, which has nearly 44,000, you do see that India is, relatively speaking, in worse shape.